Hi, this is Brian Smith. Today is Monday, March 6th, and this is video number 12 in my daily Linux video series. Today we're going to talk about hashes uh, on files. A lot of people are familiar with these, and they use them mainly for, like, say, downloading a large ISO image or other large file off the internet, and then running it like an MD5 checks, checksum to verify that the file wasn't corrupted during the download. And that's a very useful uh, function for hashes, but um, they can also be used just in day-to-day -day system administration and really creating a checksum or hash of a file on two different servers is the quickest way to verify that um, files on different servers are identical or not identical. Um, if you don't use a, a checksum, the next best alternative is to like copy the entire file to a different server, then run a diff or something like that, and depending on the size of the file, you know, that might not be practical and it might be very time consuming. So, um, what we're going to do here, we, I'm, I'm logged into two different servers. We have server, um, server 1 and server 2. <clears throat> and what we're going to do, we're going to compare the um, SSHD configuration file between these two servers to verify that the um, file is identical between them. So to do that, we can use um, MD, MD5sum and we'll do SSHD config. And we'll switch over to the other server. And we'll do a MD5 sum SSHD config. And if you compare, you can see that the hash is identical between the two servers. And what I normally do is I just verify usually the first four and the last four characters of the hash just very quickly. And if the first four and the last four are the same, then you have a very, very high probability that um, the fi files are identical. So, um, the, and the reason th this works is let's let's make an example. Take take an example here. What we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this file. We're going to call it sshd config um, underscore two. Oops, sshd config. So we're going to call it underscore two, the the copied file. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit this file. And all I'm going to do in here is just on this line here. I'm going to add an extra space at the end of the file. So that's all I did is add an extra space. Okay, so you can see we have the two files. One is one byte bigger because we add an extra space. But if I run a, a check a checksum on these files, you can see that the checksums are completely different even though all I did was add one extra space on this file. And the reason why is checksums are they have something called the avalanche effect, and what that means is if you if you flip even like a single bit in a file, it'll make the checksum completely different or the hash completely different. Um, you're not limited to only using MD5 sum. There's also um, SHA um, uh, checksums as well. Like for example, SH, SHA 512 sum. But you can see that these are much longer um, checksums if you do like the 512. That's one checksum for the f for the uh, first file. This is the second checksum. The uh, other SHA sums, the lower numbers have smaller sm smaller hashes. You can see this is an SH1 sum. If we do like a 256, it'll be a little bit longer. Whoops. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit longer. So depending on <coughs> which uh, SHA checksum you use, um, the longer the checksum will be. And the longer the checksum is, um, the more accurate um, it'll be if you're comparing checksums, and the harder it would be for someone to create what's called a collision. And a collision is basically um, two files that have the same checksum. And for all intents and purposes, you know, that's not going to happen by chance. That would have to be somebody um, maliciously trying you know, brute force, you know, generate a lot of different files um, until they get the checksum that matches the other one. And if you're worried about something like that, then you'd want to use um, something like SHA 512 sum um, instead of something like MD5 sum, which would be easier to create a collision for. So anyways, um, this is just a quick overview of checksums. Um, and like I said, this is very useful to use day-to-day -day just to compare files between servers. If you have like 10 
servers say and you wanted to verify really, really quickly that the SSHD configuration files were identical on all 10 of them um, you know you could copy all those files down locally and you know run a diff on them or something like that or you could just leave all the files in place um, run an MD5 sum or SH512 sum or whatever um, checksum you want to use <clears throat> and all you have to do is just make sure the checksums match on all 10 servers and if the checksums match then you kn you know with certainty that the files are um, identical. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions please post them in the comments. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.